Hello everyone and welcome to this quick tip for unitycookie.com. My name is Patrick Woodens and in this video I want to go ahead and give you a quick overview of some of the most commonly used operators in Unity or pretty much any programming language for that matter. So all I have here is a script manager object with an operator's example script attached which has these four variables apples, pears, oranges and groceries where groceries is going to be all three of these combined. So in Mono Develop here, you can see that all I've done is I've declared them and I've set up a start function. Now do note that this is not going to be any real world kind of scenario. It's really just um, to point out, or to, to illustrate how these operators work. So we're going to be assigning some values to them and we're also going to be doing a couple of conditional checks. So first, I want to start with basic assigning. Let's say that I want to have three apples. To do that, I can say apples equals three. And go to Unity here, waiting for it to compile and play. You can see here that my apples have now been set to three. All right, so basic assigning um, done with one equal sign. And the way to read this could be um, the value of three, which is called the right-hand value, because it's right of the equal sign, is going to be assigned to the left-hand value of apples, so really in a right-to-left fashion. Now let's say that I want to have another three apples. Well, we can say apples equals apples plus three. So we're going to be taking the result of this sum here, which is going to be its current value plus three, and we're going to, to assign it back to the variable apples. So in this case, it's going to be 3 plus 3 equals 6, and that's going to be assigned back to the apples here. So if we play this, apples is now 6. Now you may be wondering if there's a more or um, a cleaner approach to doing this, because it seems sort of redundant to have apples twice here. And as a matter of fact, there is. Um, as a shorthand notation, you can say apples plus equals 3. Or, um, actually, let's use the pairs for this one. Let's say pairs equals, let's start out with 2 here. And let's then say pairs plus equals 5. So this is going to be 7. And the way to read this operator would be to think we're going to be um, adding something and assigning the result all in one go. So we're going to see apples being 6 and pears being 7. All right, still good so far. Um, now let's say that we want to add one orange to our basket. Now we can say oranges equals oranges plus 1, or we can say oranges plus equals 1, but there's an even shorter method. And this only works for the number 1, plus or minus. We can say oranges plus plus. Or in the case of our pairs, if we feel like we may have gotten one too many, we can say pairs minus minus. And so this just means add or subtract 1. Right, so let's see if that works. Oranges should now be 1. Pairs at 6 and apples at 6 as well. All right, perfect. So last thing to do now. It's, um, and also, so far I've only shown you with the plus and minus here, but we can do the same with uh, division or with multiplying, etc. Right, so the last thing I want to do is I want to say groceries equals apples plus pears plus oranges. And so then I want to move on to the if check. Um, or at least some conditional checks. So first let's build the if skeleton here, which is this, and let's break this down real quick. We're going to say if, and then two parentheses, where the two parentheses are going to contain the condition which needs to return true, and if that's true, then it's going to execute whatever is between these two curly brackets. All right? So if whatever we ask it to do is true, we can say, for instance, debug.log 
Um, I don't know. Let's think of something fun. Hello. Right. So let's say that you have a maximum capacity in your grocery bag of 20 items. And we want to make sure that you're good to go. Um, actually, first, let's say that... Yeah, no, let's do that. Sorry. If groceries is less than 20, say hello. And so, oh, I actually misspelled this here. Groceries. There we go. Uh, so the way to do this is to use the less than sign. And so, again, the way to, to read this will be from right to left. Is 20 less than groceries? If that's true, then this is going to return true. And so this is going to be executed, this line here. Right, so let's see if that happens. Let's play this. And lo and behold, at the bottom of our screen, we get hello, because we currently have only 13 items. Cool. And so let's say, um, for instance, if you're, let's say you want to say if your items are less than or equal to 20, because right now what we're doing is it has to be less than 20, so your real maximum capacity would be only 19. So to fix that, you'd have to make this 21, but then it would be confusing to read for some people. If you know, if you showed someone else a script, then they might be, wait, is your maximum capacity supposed to be 21 or 20? Or... So the way to avoid that is just leave this number here, and instead of saying less than, you can say less than or equal to. So you can see that you're just combining these two here. Um, and let's make sure that we're actually adding up at 20 by saying groceries plus equals six. So we're adding six more groceries of whatever kind. So even though our groceries are now at, oh, actually they're at 19. Sorry. So our groceries are now at 20 and we're still getting hello at the bottom left. So another thing to do would be to just check if it's equal to a certain number. So let's comment out that line here. And so if you want to make sure that if your groceries are exactly equal to a certain number, then you would use these double um, equal signs here. And so the easiest way to remember that is one equal sign is used to assign a value, whereas two equal signs are used to ask if something is true. So if we were to make this um, 13, let's say, yep. And let's just copy this here. Let's say if it's equal to 23, then it's going to say, nope. And so if all goes well, we should only get yep here. And we do. So let's bring up our log here. Yep, it's the only one we're getting. Because only that one is true. So, um, another thing we could do, instead of saying if it's exactly equal to something, you could say if it's anything but that number. And the way to do that would be instead of saying equals equals, would be exclamation mark equals. And an exclamation mark in programming usually, if not always, means not. So, it's not equal to 13. If that's true, then it's going to say, yeah. Um, right now it is, so let's make this 15. And playing this, we're still getting, yep. All right. Um, that's pretty much, oh, actually, I can do one more thing. You can say use and uh, or operators. So let's see, how many apples do we have? We have six apples and we have seven pears. So we can say if apples equals bigger than, let's say we want more than 10 apples in order to be done shopping. And we also want more than 10 pears. So to do that, I used these two ampersands here. So it's going to evaluate both this left part as well as the right part. And only if both of them are true, it's going to debug log, yup. So save that, and play this here. And we're not getting anything, because we only have six of each. So let's fix that by saying 
apples plus equals seven. So now we have plenty of apples, but still not enough pears, so we should still get nothing. All right. And so if we now change our pairs to be, uh, let's just add another 10 there. Now we're getting our yup again. So if I undo that here, now we've still not got enough pairs. Let's say that we want either one of these to be true. So we either need uh, more than 10 apples or we need more than 10 pairs. Then we can use this pipe character twice. So now if only one of these is true, it's going to do whatever it says here. So playing the game again, we're still getting yep, even though we don't have enough of our pairs. And I think that's pretty much it, actually. Um, yeah, I don't want to uh, ramble on too much about this. I hope this made sense, and that it was useful, and catch you another time.